the moon is not a rock floating in space. It is a luminary, possibly made of plasma. It is also very close, not 238,000 miles away, as they say in the spinning basketball in the vacuum of space model. All evidence points to the moon being close because when you look up at the moon at night, you see the clouds around the moon being lit up. If the moon was 238,000 miles away, then it should light up half the night sky. This does not happen. The moon does not reflect sunlight, but creates its own light from within itself. You will be able to see this clearly when you zoom in onto the moon with a powerful telephoto lens. You will be able to see pockets of light emanating from the interior of the moon. Also, the moon does not have craters as claimed in the heliocentric model. If you've ever seen a geyser or a hot spring, then you'll see mud bubbles like this. And this mud is boiling up. This is due to the heat and pressure from underground and it boils the mud on the surface. The exact same phenomena is happening on the moon when it is at the waxing stage. It's just like a skin that has boils on it. And the craters, some people say the craters cast shadows on the, on the moon. This is true to an extent because, as I've said, the light from within is, is shining out from inside out and once it passes the, the crater, obviously it's going to cast a shadow. There are no craters on the moon, nor can you walk on the moon. Look at this cartoon image of a lunar phase and they're trying to tell us that this is what happens during uh, one whole month. I've said earlier that the moon does not reflect sunlight. So how does the moon phases work? It is simply the charging and discharging of the moon's energy. Waxing is when the moon charges itself and waning is when it discharges its energy. This process is a 30-day cycle, 50 days for charging or waxing and another 15 days for waning or discharging. All the ancient cultures use the moon as a calendar and believe it or not they knew more about our world than we do in the 21st century and just like the Sun the moon also moves in a sine wave kind of function it goes up and down on a nightly basis and look at this ludicrous image trying to show a lunar eclipse. They use fancy words like umbra and penumbra as if that will prove their bullshit theory. The sun, the moon and the earth do not ever line up like this because there is no heliocentric model. The lunar eclipse is not an eclipse at all, but simply the moon 
resetting itself. It's resetting its energy. If you observe the moon over a period of time, then you will know that everything about the moon is cyclic. Once you know uh, its cycles, then you can predict its future. You can predict what the moon will do in the future. This is very simple. This is how the ancient people knew how to figure out future eclipses. No pseudo-scientific nor science fiction fantasy explanation is required. Also, the Earth's shadow does not fall on the moon. That is an absurd claim. The moon is a negative energy to the sun's positive. Everything on flat Earth can be explained with logic, reason and common sense.